Okay, cool. So now it's time to kill people. So we're going to kill those dudes and these guys. I want them to fire on these guys. Actually, I want them to move up. And then kill these guys. No, I want you to stack up on the fucking building. I wish you could, like... I wish you could stack uh, uh, commands, like... I'm telling this troop to move to a location. Once you get to the location, then do this. And then after that, I got something queued up to do after that. So, so this has got Truth grenades thing. in it. And maybe... Okay, so Looks all like grenades. More medical helps. supplies. I don't I don't know if clicking on medical supplies will heal everybody immediately. I don't know Mac, what it does. Oh, shit. Use hand grenades and try to hit it in the back. Its armor is weaker there. Yes. So these guys, none of them picked up grenades. God damn it. <laughs> We've lost a squad. They are just getting absolutely butt raped. Shoot them in the back. I don't want to go back to the village. I want this bullshit to be over with. <laughs> I want to be through this crap. I can't wait to try out Iron Harvest. Hello, fellers and fellettes. This is Proto Dead, and I'm coming back at you with another Let's Try Out video. Today, we're going to be trying out Iron Harvest. It says 1920 plus, but I don't know what the hell that means. Um, Iron Harvest is a uh, isometric strategy game, so a real-time strategy uh, RTS. I played through the tutorial and uh, I'm gonna say it was kind of cheesy a little bit uh, the voice acting anyway was super fucking cringe uh, I played through it with uh, my homeboy Jolly so Jolly kind of helped me uh, uh, understand this game because I don't play a lot of RTS's so we're gonna choose adventure and honor as the game difficulty I suppose that's like the middle of the road it may be too difficult for me but hey that'll just make for a short video <laughs> So, uh, this game is basically like an alternate history, so if like World War I, um, if the technology developed steampunk sort of mechs and shit, um, and, and World War I still took place or, you know, was happening. Oh my god, is this the fucking tutorial? No, I don't want to play this again. Wait, wait, I don't know why it didn't, didn't save my game. You can't throw or run fast. It will be unfair to the team you're on. Oh, that's not true. What are you going to do about it? Cry? <laughs> Cry, baby! Cry, baby! I'm the Polanyans! Yeah, uh, I'm just going to skip so through unfair. this shit because I, I played this earlier and it sucks. No, I'll show them! <laughs> fucking cringe as fuck. Uh... Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'll catch you on the other side of this. I'm going to go ahead and do a big fat jump cut. This way. They said the war would be an adventure. Promising pride and honor. In the end, it would be five years. Years of torment and horror like the world had never seen before. For the first time, the great nations of the world faced each other with weapons that could kill dozens, hundreds with a single blow. Goddamn. The war is over now, but it cost the lives of millions. Among them, Yannick, my brother, who wanted to be back for Christmas. Those mechs are fucking rad. Never to leave me. Yeah, that old timey footage uh, with the uh, steampunk early industrial mechs superimposed. But what can they hope to accomplish? What we all want 
expel Roosevelt from Polonia. Without the backing of our military? Well, it looks like Uncle Leh is pretty successful so far. They say the Roosevelt military attaché is beside himself. The resistance is outnumbered ten to one. All they do is endanger the truce. And by God, we all need that. But why is there even a truce? What made Kaiser Friedrich and Tsar Nicholas agree to it? Why now? That is a good question indeed. Master Piotr! Master Piotr! In the village, resistance fighters, they are asking for you. Uncle Lech? No, but they say it's urgent. Go to the lumber camp and tell them I'll be there soon. But I want to... Go! Now! And no visits to the damned bear! Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. She will. Uh, uh okay. Right. So, uh, just to catch you up, I cut out the part where she meets a bear, a cub, and then apparently she's raised it over the past several the years. Troops? What are they doing here? Okay, so I'm guessing they're bad guys. Can always use cover. I was kind of hoping we get right into the. Uh, uh, what exactly are we looking for? Some egghead, a scientist or something, here in the middle of nowhere. Tutorial popped up on the right. The game informs you about important events and notifications on the right side of the screen. Press the space to focus camera um, on the origin of the last notification. Okay, so I'm pressing space now. That's not happening. Now what? What's next? Looks like a safe spot. Uh oh. Are you lost? Roosevelt's that way. Put the weapon down, girl. Back off! You better be a hell of a shot if you want to take us on. Shit! No! Uh oh. Secondary objective complete. I'm Shoot the shit out of him. So uh, I've got to highlight my person, my troop, and then right click on the uh, enemy I want to shoot or engage. We, we, we killed them. Yep. Mouse wheel, right scroll in and out. We have to go to the village. We have to warn Papa and the resistance fighters. Okay. Um, what you need? So it looks like uh, walk to Jack will automatically follow Anna and attack the enemy she attacks. He will also heal Anna and nearby friendly infantry uh, units when out of combat. Anna can give commands to the bear of walk to Jack, uh, such as attacking a specific target or calling him back to the field. If he is killed, cool. Yeah, so there's some fantasy elements to this game. Um, whenever I bought it, I kind of thought that this was, this was going to be a raw, grounded, down-to-earth, the science Let's makes go. sense, the physics makes sense, um, sort of, uh, On sort of way. RTS, uh, real-time strategy game. So, because she's raised a bear that talks to her in its own fucking bear language and shit, and, uh, they can heal each other, it just, with magic, it oh, just no. seems a little silly to me. Um, I'll get there. I like the motif. I mean, I like the way it looks. Hmm, I was hoping that, that we'd be, be able to get right into the fucking mech action, uh, like right away. On my way. Ah, help! No Over problem. Take cover! Kill him! Jesus. She's too far away, I think, maybe. No, our bear needs... Oh, I can select these these guys. Um, so I'm going to select this dude and move him up. Okay. Thanks. You saved our asses. Come on, let's get out of here. Why did the camera on, start happened? pointing at the sky? Those soldiers, they arrived shortly after the rebels. They want someone named Dubovsky, some professor. And my father? He's holed up with some others near the marketplace. 
We've got to help them. Are you crazy? They have mechs and heavy weapons! I'm coming with you. My brother and his family are still there. We're all coming with you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, tactical tips. Rushing into danger is rarely a good idea. Be methodical in your, in your advance and always try to attack when you have superior numbers. Using cover in the environment to your advantage is key. Yes, of course it is. What's next? So, uh, I wish I could zoom out a little bit more, because goddamn, I feel like we're just a little bit too close to the action. I understand that uh, through, with the fog of war, you can see right here, it's all grayed out. Um, that's as far as my troops can see, and as we approach closer, the fog of war will be lifted, so we can see into, we can see, like, troop movements and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and we can select what with the with the tooltip uh, bar, the Where skill the bar next? down here at the very bottom, We're you can ready. select Move specific it. groups of troops. You apparently cannot select just two Hang of your over. group. Or like what one of your group know? to split and go do something. If you select one dude, you select all of them. So all of them are kind of a unit. Uh, which I think is Can also do stupid. Something? I don't Let's like go. that. Um, but that's the way the game handles it. So if I click Let's Anya, or whatever her name is. Um, Anna. She, she It will be her and the bear that moves together. And, and then you can have specific actions for each one of them. Because she's a hero character. There's apparently several hero characters in the game and uh she's the only one that uh that uh, i've played so far so q and e will rotate your camera back and forth so that you can clock the the game world the way you want to clock it so that way you can see around Just obstacles and of course the perspective when you zoom in the angle of the dangle changes too so that may be advantageous to zoom in occasionally but the detail on the models on at the ground level the boots on the floor these guys, um, they're pretty well modeled. They look pretty damn good, um, if I do say I'll so myself. So sometimes coming. I'll take a look at the compass and try to figure out which way is north, and I'll just kind of clock. I'll clock the uh, the game world so north is up um, because I'm crazy like that. I Give think you can also professor. middle click. You don't can... know any professor. What the hell? So you can middle click and drag so you can move the game world around that way. Um, right. I don't know what I just did there. I clicked. I clicked and, and huh? drug, and it it did a. I don't know Move what the it. hell that's doing. What do we do? Right now? click and drag, and it makes like a, a yellow indication. Let's go. I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe it moves them to that location, but uh, it points them. Their faces them I'm in a listening. direction. Maybe that's what it is. Can always use cover. But this game seems a little arcadey, to be brutally honest, for it to matter what... Okay, let's prepare for fight. Okay. We don't have to do this. Just leave us alone. They are not listening. What? Are they gone? No, keep your head down. What have we done to deserve this? We're ready. Heading to cover. We're going to capture this... Outpost or this uh, this uh, supply cache. <clears throat> and that should give us something nice, cover. cool, How sweet. I, I don't know. Uh, right click. Let's go. Yeah, left click. Next? Middle click. Yeah. So anyway, um, we're moving further into this direction. I wish you could click and drag. Uh -huh. Huh? So, I wish you could else. click and drag down here on the toolbar to We're select on. multiple homie dudes down here, like your know. units. Moving. Because you have to have them on screen to, ch to tell so them, you have to right click there. and drag a box I'm around all of them to get them to but move. But what happens when you have, if you have like one troop that's like way down here doing some fighting and some action, and you got another troop up here capturing... Uh, you know, some... Resistance will be met with deadly force. Sorry, I'm just Resistance looking at all this chaos right here. The AI is fucking dumb. Uh... There you go. 
Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is if you have a, a group doing some activity over here and a group doing some activity over here and, you know, another group someplace else, to quickly say, I need everybody to respond right here, right now, because we got some shit going on. I don't know how you can select all. Maybe tab? No. Tab cycles through your different units. Caps lock doesn't do anything. Shift doesn't do anything. Um, WASD will move you around the, the game world. Uh, very similar to pressing down the mouse wheel or the, the mouse third mouse button. Mouse button down. And uh, I don't know if there's really any other controls. So we got to move. I guess this way is where we need to go next. Occupying structures, infantry squads and heroes on foot can occupy buildings and fire from the inside. Select the hero infantry, infantry and so we're gonna move them into this building. Apparently, only one unit can occupy the building and shoot. Hmm. Okay. Uh, occupying squad can exit the building by clicking leave the building button. Okay, so I imagine they get a bonus. They get like a defense bonus while being inside a defensible location like a building. Um, I don't know why else you'd ever want to do that. I just right clicked on this building and it set a flag down. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to click down here leave building. And my dude's just uh, egressed out of the building I guess. Okay, so we need to go to this bridge Looks here. Like a safe spot. Yeah, I wish there was a select all. Select all of your troops. Um, I was really kind of hoping that uh, we could get into this. I'll get there. Primary objective into this uh, uh, mecha fucking mobile steampunk Shh. battle shit. Papa! What are you doing here? You shouldn't have come. I... In the woods... I'm... I'm sorry. Papa? I have... I... Since none of you seem willing to give us Professor Dubovsky, we will take him ourselves! Tear the village apart! Find the professor! Not a sound, and stay right here. I'm going to lure them away, and I'll come right back when they are gone. What do they want? Why are they here? Stay here. No! You and Professor Dubovsky, here I am! Come and get me! He's got a robot arm. So I... Yeah. Uh, I noticed that he had a big red glove on earlier, and I meant to say something. That's like, why does he have a big-ass red glove on just one hand only? Okay. Okay, cool. So now it's time to kill people. So we're gonna kill those dudes and these guys. I want them to fire on these guys. Actually, I want them to move up. And then kill these guys. No, I want you to stack up on the fucking building. I wish you could, like... Not yet. There are still Roosevelt's in the village. Why can't they just leave us alone? Come on, let's help the villagers! Oh man, the voice acting is fucking... I mean, maybe it's because it's a foreign game, and it's just like they think that over-the-top English, uh, American English, or whatever, uh, no, uh, vernacular is super dramatic is what you need in a game like this, I'm not sure, right. but I wish you could stack uh, uh, commands, like... I'm telling this troop to move to a location, once you get to the location, then do this, and then after that, I got something queued up to do after that. So, like, just a second ago, I told him to told him to run against the wall, and then I said, start attacking this enemy. Well, they stopped and started attacking the enemy before they got to the wall. So, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe, how would that work? How would the interface work? Would it be hokey? Would it suck? I don't know. Looks like but... a safe spot. Let's go. Okay, so here's these guys. We need to rescue them. They're gonna die. Yeah. Seems to be clear now. Okay. On my way. We're supposed to rescue people. What you need? Where to next? Hunt. Every shot counts. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah, this bear's coming in clutch. Great. So we opened up the supply crate and got some heals, I guess, is what happened. This needs to go away. I don't know. Right. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, maybe this building is what we need to look Cozy. in. Can we do something? What's next? I'll have a peek inside. We're ready. So what the what the fuck? I'm supposed to rescue villagers where? In this building maybe? I'm listening. What's next? What do we do now? I got no clue. We're ready. Let's get out. What do we do now? Get going. I'm listening. So this building's on fire, so you can't occupy it. So I'm right down here where my primary goal is to rescue villagers, but I don't see any villagers down here, so uh, I don't know what, what the hell the game wants me to do. So we're going to go ahead and just make our way all the way over here, way. and I'm sure we're going to skirmish on our way. Oh. Oh. Right nearby. Yeah, so now we're sandwiched. Okay. We've got this area covered for now. Others in the village might still need your help. Okay. Why did your father claim to be this professor? Maybe because he is. Them away, obviously. They don't seem to know what this professor looks like. Hmm, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Right. right. But now you're still fighting the enemy here. <laughs> so, what good did he do? Uh, do so we'll go ahead and hit the medical supplies and see if that, like, helps us out a little bit. Let's go. It's the resistance. We have to help them. Be there soon. We're fucking them up now. I'm gonna move my troop up here against this wall. I'm, I guess I don't have control of those guys. So some of the infantries I've noticed that when you kill them they'll drop weapons and you your guys can switch to those weapons. You're with the rebels? What's going on? I wish I knew. We only delivered the letter from our leader to his brother Piotr. Then the Roosevelt's attacked. Piotr Kos is my father. What do they want from him? Your uncle Lech's niece? That explains a lot. You wanna come with us? We're trying to link back up with the group. Sorry, no. I have to find Papa. Shame. The Resistance needs people with balls. Good luck. And you have balls. I like balls. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah, so it looks like we got uh, some steel hand grenades here, or, you know, grenades on a stick. Can we do something? So if I grenades, right click grab them. these guys, one, one of these, I think that's two of my groups. I think one group will beat the other one to the grenades, and they will switch out into grenades. Moving. They'll be, be, become player. grenaders. I guess they both did, maybe. All right. Where to next? So they're going to switch from rifles to grenades. Which may not be the coolest thing in the world. That may What's be a next? stupid plan. Okay, we need to move up here, actually. On my way. I, I do really wish you could zoom out just a little bit further. One, two, maybe more. They're in my oh. Blasted that motherfucker. We fought here earlier. Golly, we're back again. I don't know why these dudes went all the way over there. Come on, man, move. Let's get reinforcements. Thanks. That was close. It isn't over. Come on. Find a We need backup over here. Get them. Oh. 
I don't know why these guys run away. Like, why do they run backwards? When I tell them to line up on a wall, these motherfuckers retreat like pussies. Alright, let's look at this action. Yay, we defeated the enemy. That was close. What were those bastards doing here? It's a lot of story. They were story. looking for someone, but my father lured them away. I saw him destroy the bridge. I can barely believe it myself. So your father is responsible for all of this. Don't talk nonsense. We're wasting time. My father fled to the north. We have to help him. Do we? Do you really want to give up one of our own to the Roosevelt's? Come on. He's not one of us. We should help him either way. He has some explaining to do. Let's go then. I've got another unit. Okay, cool. I'm listening. I'll get there. Where are we going? Okay, we're going all the way over here. Be there soon. Can always So here's another medical helps. supplies and weapons crate. Come on, bear. What are you doing? Get with the program. I can do that. So this has got grenades in it, and maybe. Okay, so Looks all like grenades. More medical helps. supplies. I don't. I don't know if clicking on medical supplies together. will heal everybody immediately. I don't know Mac! what Keep it does. Oh shit! Use hand grenades and try to hit it in the back. Its armor is weaker there. Yes. So these guys, none of them picked up grenades. God damn it. <laughs> We've lost a squad. They are just getting absolutely butt raped. Shoot them in the back. I don't want to go back to the village. I what want this need? bullshit to be over Let's with. <laughs> I, want, I want to be through this crap. Uh oh. Wubba Jack. Wubba Jack. Kill him, Wubba Jack. Oh, he's dead. How many more of them are there? I hope not, not many. many. I hope <laughs> for them and for us. Yes. Yeah. Right. Let's take pity on the enemy. I hope there's not very many left for us to kill. Right there. Kill them then. Defend yourselves. The unit has become veteran. Hang in there. They're in my sight. Switching to uh, these cannons, what are they called? Anti-armor gunner unit. So these... Sh yeah, so these guys definitely changed that time. I don't know why the last guys didn't change in the grenaders. But I guess we're going to go ahead and switch to grenades here and see if it'll work this time. Maybe they didn't change because I gave them a new a new command after I told them to switch. Like maybe uh -huh. I didn't give them enough time to fully switch over. Be careful. She's so dramatic. Over there. Be careful. 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 It will tear us apart if we attack it head on. Shoot. Please shoot. How come I got grenades and I got fucking cannons and these guys are... Oh, it's because of heavy fire they're under. Okay, so we need to... Evacuate. Yeah. 
No, run away. I don't know if the bear is gonna survive. Sorry about the camera, I'm getting my buttons all confused. Let's let's not do this. Retreat, you fucker. Stop Voitek. Okay, so we're gonna come back here. And we're going to heal up with Votek. All right, so we're all healed back up. Um, I sent a few of my troops back to get some of these supply crates that were back here. I don't know, wherever. And um, I met another group. Okay. And I stationed them right here. I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know what that was. Anyway, so I tried to draw a uh, left click and draw over these dudes. So this is my plan. This is what I was thinking while I was healing up and getting my troops back to... 100% uh, uh, fighting ca capability. My tooltip over here, or my, my hint or preview or whatever, says veteran infantry can use battle cry. So I need to find which, I think, this guy may be. Yeah, so this guy, guy's got this icon called battle cry down here. <clears throat> so I'm going to move these guys up here so I can remember who is what. And the machine gun is uh, uh, is dug in right here. So I'm going to attack with a pincher maneuver. I'm going to have one group attack from this direction and the other group attack from this direction. Um, both of them using battle cry and uh, we're going to wipe it out. What do we do now? Vdrodze. So I'm going to sneak both these guys up here to the edge of the of the forest, hopefully out of eye shot right there. of the machine gun so as not to tip them off. So we've spotted them, but they haven't spotted us yet. Yes, they spotted us. Okay. Let's do it. They're repositioning. Battle cry. <laughs> come on, man. Stay sharp. Give them hell. Here they come. What's next? Daddy. Yeah. Go, go, go! Hell yeah. Let's zoom in on this and clock this from their perspective. These guys are getting fucked up. I'm here to help. Because they can't take it from both directions. That's what she said. One, two, three. Okay, so they left the uh they left the gun, we just blew the gun up, and he's dead. Okay. Cool, so now we can reunite our forces. This group right here needs to be healed. So, I learned that uh, you have one group at a time, and if they open up the healing crate, then they will be replenished. So they're back to 100% now. So, let's move on, I guess up here use cover. or no All we have to be over here. here nope we're gonna go right here search for Anna's father they barricaded themselves in the houses they won't last long those mechs are destroying the buildings Come on, we have to help them somehow. New primary objective received. Okay. We can help. Weapon system to man man the weapon system. Okay. No <laughs> Fucking bastard. So right click to move them. I don't know if I said that earlier. Right click to move them. Hell yeah. We have these guys take. Oh shit, there's people behind us. Speak up. We'll manage. Be careful. 
These guys need to move over here. Slowly. They're going to slowly move over here. This group needs to fall back some more. Come on, bear. You're stupid. Man, this fucking bear is so stupid. I'm trying to get this bear to move back, but it won't move back. Uh-oh. I don't know what happened. Did I crash the game? <laughs> Maybe we killed the last of the enemies? Anna, what, what are you doing? I, I know you told me to wait, but... Papa! Shh. It's okay. Shh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come, there are many wounded. We'll help them, and then we'll go west where they can't find us. What the hell did you do, Piot? Why were they looking for you? He just told them what they wanted to hear. He was saving the village. Then tell me. A big ass mech. Sky Captain in the world of tomorrow, steampunk, industrial heavy mech bullshit. Coming to a neighborhood near you. Oh, damn. I thought that was a brick that smashed her head. That would have been a strange turn of events. If Big Papa Daddy's robot electric arm, you know, resulted in her getting her head smashed off. He really is the professor. What a twist. That little toy of yours just broke state of the art any chance you can get me one of them? I don't know how to get into the factory. I heard differently. You and your friend Steinmetz, you are the keys. Hmm, dramatic. We're done here. Take him. Yes, Colonel Zubov. So, if, like, the electromagnetic pulse shut the machine down. How did the door open to let the dude out of the tummy tum of the mech? After her father caused all of this, it was a liar. He was never one of us. Matthew, Conrad, Anton, they are all dead. We have to find my father. Haven't enough people died already? We are not doing anything. Leave! They went northeast. Towards the railway. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, I imagine maybe the campaign is pretty long. I'm guessing I'm going to just judge maybe 10 hours long to get through the campaign story. They um, knew each other. And his mechanical arm? Why didn't he tell us he could do that? Oh, well spoken, sir, Bear. The hero who saved us in Zalesia! I... Um... The townspeople don't see it that way. What are you talking about? A farm girl with a bear saved your asses? I'm looking for my father. He was kidnapped by, uh... Saved Colonel your asses? Zuboff. She's Uncle Lex's niece. She organized the resistance of the villagers and prevented the worst. Hmm. Sorry, girl. But if your father is a prisoner of a Colonel Zubov, then they'll take him away along with our people. Here. Here are we. And this is the train station, heavily guarded. They caught a lot of us yesterday. Those who are not at the station are held captive here or here. Once they're taken away, we never see them again. 
Yeah, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump right. into reading the words of the developer, and we'll see what they advertise their game, see what they have Free to say about it on the Steam store, so I'll catch you on the other away. side real quick. <laughs> As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play, and there's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial, you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before, and uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and, and hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit, and kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. Iron Harvest. A classic, real-time strategy game with an epic single-player campaign, multiplayer and co-op, set in the alternate reality of 1920 and beyond, or 1920 plus as it's, as it's stated here. Um, all of the reviews are mostly positive, uh, almost 10,000 reviews since its release date in 2020, and this is developed by King Art and published by Prime Matter, and of course this is a real-time strategy, base building, mechs, war, single player co-op multiplayer cross-platform game so it does say here cross-platform so that means i guess you could people could play on xbox can play against people on pc or the playstation and all of the mix vice versas they're in thereof so metacritic gives this game a 75 out of 100 which is pretty damn good um all things considered and currently right now the game is uh, set at a 30 dollar price point on steam and of course you can consistently find it on sale if you put it on your wish list and then uh, you know follow it keep up with it and you know maybe you can catch, catch yourself a good deal if you're interested in this sort of thing so Iron Harvest is a real-time strategy game set in the alternate reality of 1920s plus uh, just after the end of the Great War World War One I. I guess they don't know about World War two yet this game lets you control giant diesel punk mechs, combining epic single player and co op campaigns as well as skirmishes, whatever the fuck that is, and with an intense action on the battlefield for multiplayer fans. Iron Harvest is a real time classic strategy game that fans have been waiting for. Tradition clashes with scientific and technological progress while Europe is still recovering from the brutal battles of the World War. Cities are being rebuilt and in the countryside the era of the Iron Harvest has begun. Farmers are uncovering the remains of the majestic walking machines that they had fought on the battlefields of the Great War. In the midst of chaos, a new threat appears that will put Europe's very existence into risk. Secret forces are putting everything they can towards the destabilization of entire countries, determined to set the world on fire once again and finally seize control. So yeah, I agree. They, they don't seem to be selling a load of bullshit. They seem to be um, shooting it straight. Um, if you like RTSs and if you like the diesel punk, steampunk sort of um, mech, mech action there, and if you can stand the isometric view and you know those cliches of the genre thereof, then this game is right up your alley, I would assume. Um, I think it's fun. I, I, I liked it. I just wish that we could have seen more of the mech action in this, uh, in this recording here, but... Uh, you know, hey, check it out for yourself. Tell me what you think. If I missed anything down here, uh, leave a comment. Uh, argue with me down there if I was too harsh about how fucking goofy the voice acting was or, or cringy the voice acting was. If you think it was super good and I just have bad taste, then let me know about it. Um, I'm Proto Dead. Until the next time, catch you on the flip flop. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.